Can you see it? Is that the bomb? Oh, I'm sorry. Here's the label. <clears throat> Why are you putting the bomb on another so on another wing? This is the most flavorful one, right? Nope, it's the no. least flavorful. Nope, it's the one that hurts the most. Why would you? And then you, uh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Bot Ones, the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. My guest today is Markstrom. He is a PUBG tournament winner. <laughs> he leads the charge in raising money with his community at a total of $235,000 for gamers outreach. He is a Voodoo Ranger, PUPG, uh, P Power GPU Schlanger. Uh, uh huh. And he has <clears throat> never died in Hardcore Warcraft, not once. Not one time, dude. You're absolutely correct. Now, Markstrom, I know you take your morning prep very seriously. It usually involves getting up very early, brewing a fresh cup of coffee. Mm. I want to know if you did anything special today to prep for this big day. Well, Slum, uh, in the ripe supple age of 29, uh, you know, I'm getting on in my years. And I have, with that age comes wisdom. And I had the wisdom to not only take a uh, Pepsid complete this morning, but I also took one yesterday. And so I'm feeling pretty good about the prep work that went into uh, getting after it this morning. My lovely yeah. wife cooked up some delicious looking wings here in front of me. And I, I believe we're uh, those wings. we're both strapped up with uh, a nice lineup looking of sauces, man. What do your wings look like over there? So I ordered wings Yeah. and they gave me these. Which are not wings. Wait. They're, and let me get rid of my face so maybe it zooms in on it. There you go. They are boneless chicken fingers. Okay. And good thing I looked. All right. Because I said, dude, this is not what I ordered. So then I went back and I got another box. I didn't look in this box yet. So let's hope that this is actually correct. You think they ran back the fingers twice? They better not have. Imagine. Oh, they did not. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Some bone-in juicers. Oh, those look good. Are those fried? Yeah. Oh, they're fried. They definitely look fried. <laughs> yeah, they're fried. All bro. right. <laughs> good for you. All right. So, okay. I believe uh, I believe we start with the first hot sauce if you're ready, bro. Yeah, I'm ready. So we have uh, direct from Hot Ones. We have the classic. Oh, but this one is uh, with chili maple. You see that? Did you open yours already? You're re you're ready to go. Yeah, I I, I un uh, I untopped all of them. <clears throat> so Markstrom splurged and got all of the hot sauces from Hot Ones. You got to splurge for the people, man. You know, I'd say that was like the last the first episode that we did together was a lot of fun, but the one scuffed part was that. We didn't, uh, we didn't have the same exact sauces. You know what I mean? So we weren't exactly on the same page the whole time. And honestly, so, there's a lot of people out there suggesting that that's why uh, one of us struggled more than the other. Well, that's what I, I don't want to... Undisclosed who was who. Undisclosed, doesn't matter. We don't need to look back yeah, on that didn't, now. You didn't do well there. <laughs> um, so is this the first hot sauce right here? The classic, yes, sir, the with classic. the chili maple. This is a heat level of. I don't have a. I don't know oh, what my closest good. focus range is, but two out of ten heat range. There it is. And let's see, Scoville. We got Scovilles on here anywhere? Oh, it doesn't say Scoville. I'm sure the good people at home can look it up if they. Yeah. They so. Uh, they so choose. But yes, yeah, right. so I see the two out of ten. It's a little guy. Get a little on there. So technically, I'm dabbing all of my sausage chat i'd like the record to show what's dab what, what's the difference well because they're dab? not tossed in the sauce you know what i mean so okay, you're getting a pretty big chunk sauce. of sauce no matter what with a dab but you get it on there and it's you know it's juicy looking all right does that make sense i do know what you're saying yeah it's not baked right. on here we go you ready right. for a dab i'm ready i'm in there cheers did you show did you show the dab i did oh shit Oh, God. Oh. All right, here we go. Notice I, you went big on that first one. We'll see how that goes. We'll see, we'll see if that trend continues. Oh, my God. Mmm. Okay. Okay. 
So before we go crazy. Oh man. You said you said something about the ripe, supple old age and getting ready. Yeah. And you're not you're not the young calf you used to be. That's true. So I just want to make sure and uh, give you a little eye chart. Oh test. no, dude. Hold on. <laughs> Come on now, man. Are you hitting that for me? How many times do I got to tell Chad I need LASIK so bad in my glasses I can't see a damn thing? Even in my glasses. I would also like the record to show that this is significantly smaller. This isn't my whole screen. This is a tiny portion of my screen. Tiny. That's okay. Yeah, what line you want, Just Slum? Give it, give it your all. All the way from the top to bottom. All right. E. Oh. Hmm? All right, let me take another bite. <laughs> Are you already struggling on the second line? No, I'm, I got that. Mm. Okay, all right. FP, right. POZ, LPED. They should check me. PECT, no, PECFD, EDFCZF. Uh, all right. Keep ED, going. EDFCZF, CZP. CZP. All right. Flawless so far. Down to the green line, let the record show. Okay. How close can I get? Get can close. I move? Can I move in there? Get close. F E L O P Z D D E F P O T E C. Ah, there's then that's that's all we got. That's all you she wrote. I got nothing it? after that red line. Not you now. Can you zoom in on it? Uh, sure, you can click it. All right. You, what other questions you got, Slum? <laughs> What's the next sauce, bro? You're, you don't want. You don't want to go for that last line? No, I can't read that. No, it's too small. <laughs> no, it's too small, bro. I'll be honest. Give, just give it a go, dude. I think you got it. No, I, I don't you can think so. Read it. You can read it as a sentence if you want. I think you're yeah. welcome to read it, but I'm not reading that out loud. There's such thing as custom sub sounds here in the channel. And uh, that one would be how you say ripe for the picking. I'm not going to give that to him for free. No shot. So this is, this is kind of what the first question is about. Oh. Is what do you think started the aspect of your chat and your community making fun of you and making you the butt of a lot of jokes and how do you feel about that becoming part of your channel culture listen i think what it comes down to for me is that if you can't make fun of your friends you're not really friends there's a lot of talk these days about parasocial relationships on these kinds of platforms and I read a lot of that stuff with a decent amount of resentment because I don't find it to be representative of what we do here in this channel and I feel like I've never held back when it comes to making fun of the homies that are here every day and neither should they so I don't hold it against them I actually embrace it and I think that it shows just how special our relationship is and the bonds that we formed over the years to be 100 percent. so um i love it and i think they love it too if you can remember any what are some jokes that are continuous at at your extent or at your uh you're at the butt of these jokes what what jokes am i the butt of <laughs> yeah, okay what jokes am i not the butt of well i don't know what do you, do you uh height as uh referenced is definitely one of them well, what do you um, mean? Bat, bat at jump games is definitely another one, though I do think that that one at least has some substantiated, uh, you know, backing. Um, okay. Definitely... Uh, every game that I play dies a fiery death. Uh, every, every game that I try to main ends up being one of the worst games of all time. <laughs> um... I can't grow a beard per past a certain length. Otherwise, it looks like I'm homeless. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I have a dent in the top of my head. Uh, I look like Ben Affleck because I'm white. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think I think that's a, I think that that runs the gambit. I don't know. Uh, I'm a secret uh Russian spy uh because I, I haven't heard that one. Yeah, because I I speak Russian and do mixed martial arts oh, and yeah, yeah, right. have a concealed permit and that makes sense. Right. That one adds up. That one definitely adds up a little bit. <clears throat> oh man. Well, I didn't I didn't mean to, you know, bring you down too much. So, um I hope you enjoyed that, but I think it's time for the second second hot sauce, my friend. All right, second wing, second sauce. I believe this is the tropical hot sauce. Yeah, yeah. let's take a look at this thing. This is the, the Tropicante. Sauce Picante Tropical, a.k.a. the Tropicante. Yeah, this looks nice. Yeah, it does. Sinai Gourmet. And this is, they didn't give us a, a heat level on this one. Any Scovilles on this? Resident Googlers? Any resident Googlers in the chat? Any you Googleizers? Someone get us a Scoville on this bad boy. <clears throat> it is a tropical hot sauce, Tropicante. Oh, it says shake well. Make sure you shake this well. Shake well and refrigerate after opening. Okay. All right. Yep. Let's make sure we match the, the size. That's yeah, a good bro. Shake right there. I'm, I hear you. That's a good shake. I seen it. Oh, yeah. You got a. That one was for Damo, our resident mixologist. Nice. Where's he at? Is he here? Oh, you already know, dude. All right. This is going to be an easy one to get a dab on, I think. Like oh, a, yeah. A nice mound of sauce. Yeah, because it's chunkier. Yeah. Did you smell it? Are you smelling any of these first? Oh, it smells so good. I Holy. I know all of these hot sauces by heart. You smell the mango, bro? This is really good. Wow. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh! What happened? I I think it's a decent dab on there. Yeah, I got a little caterpillar on mine. I I don't have the I don't have the closed zoom. Uh but so you'll have to see it from back here close yonder. My eyes so it can focus on the wing and not my Right, right, yeah. right. Got the facial. This is a fat, fat dab, dude. Yeah, look at mine. My whole, my oh whole wing stabbed up. All right, you All ready? All right, I'm ready, bro. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Oh, that bro. Mmm. Right? Mmm. Mm. Oh, that's good. So, you enjoying that one? Oh, yeah. We got. Well, the first one was a bit funny, but we're not here all for jokes. I want to I wanna okay. get serious with each other a little bit. I want to talk about two guys. Yeah. So, I mean, one minute, you're this semi-hilarious, ener energetic entertainer. Yeah. Giving it your all on stream. Yeah. And the next, you're chilling at home with the dogs, watching a movie. Yeah. Possibly even going outside. Sometimes. How do you manage the duality of being a larger-than-life personality and a regular human being? You know, it's interesting. Uh, I think one of the things that people don't think about a lot, or you wouldn't unless, like, uh, you're in this, like arena of always being on and being in front of so many people and interacting with so many people at like this high energy level is the crash after stream um there's like a pretty serious transition period almost every single day like after stream where i just like need to be like quiet and alone with my thoughts and honestly uh that wouldn't be possible without a very understanding partner uh alexander definitely recognizes that there are times where i'm just like socially drained and um you know she definitely sacrifices for the sake of the stream and uh i appreciate her greatly for that um though i will say i uh i have enjoyed getting out there and doing things we've been a little bit more active and we definitely have a lot of plans this year which i'm really looking forward to uh to experience a little bit more life and uh rather than be as cooped up as we typically joke about so i look forward to that uh quite a bit so so that's alexandra and the 
in that picture right there. That's Am the I one. Correct on that. Yeah. So who are the other people in the other? <laughs> You know, uh, I'm a man who wears many masks. Uh, <clears throat> some multiple personalities definitely come to stream here. And uh, again, I think this ties back to just like being happy to be the joke of things. Uh, every now and again, sometimes your uh, best friend's a very talented photo editor. And... Uh, Jumps in on the fun. Trolls the ever-living shit out of you uh, with the rest of the community, so. Um, can you take us through the... Can you take us through the... Oh, absolutely. So, in the top left is Lord Farquaad, which was uh, a charity incentive uh, for raising money for gamers' outreach to bring gaming to kids in hospitals, which, if it means, you know, if it's for a good cause, I'm happy to participate. And when I do participate in something uh, that is uh, an incentive for something like that, I try and go all out. So that was our Halloween costume. And uh, I would say it's definitely one of the better cosplays we've done. Up top is Bob Ross, which was a, uh, a wonderful painting stream that was also for a charity incentive. Um, the bottom left uh, is an amalgamation of uh my milady body pillow and myself um again charity incentive vibe and then on the far right is baldstrom uh which is only an artist's rendering has not occurred in the flesh uh but not to say that it won't not to say that it won't oh here's to that that is the baldstrom one is kind of ironic sitting here and being bald being the one who, uh... <laughs> uh. <laughs> you can't win them all. You gotta do. All right. What do you say? I'm ready, bro. What'd you think of those first two sauces? I'm not feeling anything yet. I'm gonna be honest with you. That's good, man. That's real good. But, you know, when we have guests on the show, it usually doesn't kick in until about... I don't know. That fifth one looks dangerous, so I'm going to say the fifth one. Yeah. The fifth one looks like a red syrup. Yeah. Which is absolutely disgusting. There's some, chi there's some chili paste in there that's definitely going to get your juices flowing. This, yeah. uh, what is this one called? Micro Saucery Pico Peppers. Pico Rico Piri Piri Style Hot Sauce. Okay. I get a little something off of this, smell-wise. It's also a little chunky. Rico, Rico, the third hot sauce. All right. Shake well. Oh, what do you think that smell? It smells spicy. Okay, okay. Got a little spice to the smell for sure. We able to get a nice mound on this wing, or is it drippy? Both. Oh, it's drippy. It's drippy. I got a little but I got a little bit of both oh, going. Oh shit. A little of both. Of. You all right? All right. You ready? I'm ready, bro. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mhm. Mm. You eating the whole wing? I have been. I'm not sure I'm going to keep that up, but Oh, I am. Mm. All right, that slap. That was pretty good. So, third hot sauce. Yeah. Down. Let's keep it going. Having a wonderful time. I want to ask you a question. Yeah, okay, shoot. In this community, there's many different types of people. They come in all different shapes and sizes. Mm. And some you like, and some you might just want to punch in the face every once in a while. Yeah. So, if there was a tail of the tape <laughs> between Markstrom and anyone in this community, 
and you can have multiple answers. Okay. Who would it be and why? And maybe you have this one for this reason, this one for this reason. Let's let's run down your stats first. Can you can you read the stats for us? Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> this is a tale of tape from Mark Storm. It is indeed Bruin. Uh from the US of A. Can I get a USA one time in the chat, please? Uh nicknamed the Storm. I'm four, eight, and two. Decent record. Okay. 39 years of age. Okay. 5'4 with a 26 inch reach. Okay. That's a nice reach, dude. I gave you a little bit there. Let me just get this wingspan on on, on stream for a moment. Let me just. Yeah, that's a 26. <laughs> All right. That's a 26er for sure. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Fish eye lens. Okay. All right. Oh, no. You're cut out again. What's going on with the... Uh... Hold on. Yeah, yeah we're here. I think I see you again. Hey, how are you? I'm doing well. Okay. All right. So, so you're so what's the question if I, reach. if I if I was going to if I was going to stand up in the ring with one of the community members who would it be and why? Yes. And why? And if you have a couple answers for for different reasons, I'd love to hear them. I don't think I even need to run through the answers for to tell you why it's Chuck. Um is definitely public enemy number 1 for a multitude of reasons, all self-inflicted, though he will I'm sure hit me with an ellipsis. There it is. Yep, right there. Boom. <laughs> The ellipses is there um i think best vi certainly makes it onto the list as like the innovator of brown town i'm pretty sure he's like the very first one of the first times i ever met someone in person that gave me a gift was a t-shirt that said i heart brown town on it and i haven't forgiven him since um who else man who else i feel like there's at least one other person but absolutely you know what uh the last person would be sean uh, because he's a big guy. He's a big you guy. Hook off on Sean? I would definitely hook off on Sean. Uh, and I also want to win the belt that gets passed around his family, um, for their, for their, uh, Kentucky wrestling tournaments. So, um, I'd be Who happy to, right to lubricate Sean? and get in the ring. You know what I'm saying? With a little Jonathan. I feel like that Is would be. Is it Sean that holds the belt right now or is it his mom? Listen, if I if they want to try and tag team me, it is what it is. I'm I'm here to bang. So. <laughs> oh man. Any Easter eggs in this picture? Couple. I see a I see a blurp tag on my uh on my delt. That's looking pretty nice. Teddy must have paid a pretty penny for that plug. Um and then what's going on with the with the kick on the on the titty of the random? Yeah, that guy's definitely going down. What happened to his nipple? I think he's got a sun tattoo. Oh, okay. Well, praise the yeah. sun. Yeah. All right. And then this fight is brought to you by Raven Tracker. And it's the MFC. Oh, I, I do those. That, as, as we've already established, that text is way too small for me to read. I didn't even <laughs> see that down there, bro. <laughs> 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 There's no chance I saw that. All right, nice. Oh man. Oh, all right. I think we're getting. I, I felt a little heat on that last one. Did you feel anything at all? Uh yeah, bro. It was it was bad, bro. I'm feel myself sweating. <clears throat> all right. All right. Here we go. I think this is a first we feast original. Actually. It is. Yeah, another Los Calientes. So during the first uh, the first time we ran through these, uh, episode one, we had the Los Calientes, but this is a different version. It was okay. a new one. This is the Barbacoa, which I really wanted to try. So I'm pretty excited about this. I think this one's going to be pretty hot. I can't get this shit open. Like in a good way, you know what I mean? This says uh, four out of ten heat level. Huh? That's, that's still weak, dude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, that's what they say. I don't know Who if everyone's that? tens, everyone's ten. You know what I mean? All right, give I'm me a good shake. I think I'm going to go a drummer on this one, bro. 
I've been that. going drummer. I'm about to. I I knock out the drums first. Okay. You do whatever you got to do, man. Alexandra made me extra because she's the best. So I got my choice every time. That's nice. All right. Let me get rid of one of these flat bones. Yeah. So I can just go extra ham on this. Oh yeah. Look at that. All right. Nice little chunkine. This How's one's a cool? chunky one. Oh man. It smells good. That's got a little bit of kick in the scent though. A little barbacoa vibe. Add we're you? going. We're going. Okay. All right. Cheers. Cheers. All right. So, it's an exciting time of the year for many reasons. Okay. But one of the reasons why I'm very excited is because we have a convention coming up. Also because I'm getting married, but we have a convention coming up. It's a trained man. And, That's a trained man right there. Yeah. And I, I feel that this community is, is really connected, and <clears throat> we'd like to get involved with each other. We keep in touch with each other. Say if people go to these communities and, and stuff like that, we make sure to, to chat and hang out. And for the people who haven't watched the first episode, I want to bring back a picture for you guys. And if you don't mind explaining it, Markstrom, what is this right here? So that was uh, that was a nice little MSTV meetup, uh, Marksman meetup, with that was sponsored by Voodoo Ranger. Uh, hashtag ad, hashtag sponsored. Uh, all the way back to Boston. Pax East, maybe 20, oh, 2018, I think. Man, I'm not 100% sure on the year, but uh, probably one of the best events we've ever done. Incredibly fun. I think this was our very first Voodoo uh, sponsored meetup. And uh, this was an hour after our meetup finished. Everyone's still hanging out outside, chilling, figuring out what we're going to do with the rest of our evening and where we can bring, you know, 40 to 50 people which bar we can bring them to without crazy rolling deep making it uh too brutal but there's a lot of beautiful faces in there man a lot of homies a lot of beautiful faces i want to put you on the spot this was though. briefly after botmont gave a beautiful speech to the mstv community that i remember very uh like it was yesterday he's good at that it was where nice. is botmont in this picture can you curse her over him let's see can i well maybe oh yeah i got i do i do have a cursor at my disposal but it's Great. such a small photo i'm gonna have to get real in here uh, uh. holy there he is the backwards cap my man yeah can you can you run us through if yeah you, i'll do my darndest man run us through man oh there's so there's most of the people back here i can't see the faces of them to be honest you, i can I do this front little, this front little area let me give you a little help give this me is second. slum this is you. Hold on. Don't go too crazy yet. All right. Still in frame over there? Yeah. All right. Uh, This is Drast, Ian, NV, Mad Bomber, Chris Fura, one of our resident emo artists. We have Alexandra. I think this is Show down there. Is that Show down there? I can't quite see. I think so. Ted. We have Tim, Slum, Andrea, Cuddy. Maybe this is Tweak back here with the colored hair. I can't see. I think this is T-Man way back there. Uh, who else do we got? I can't. Oh, I think Doodles. I think I spotted Doodles back here. This is Dubsy. Uh, I see Jinxy back here. Young Pope way off to the far right. I think I see Grinch back there. I think that's all. Oh, and then Connor. Uh, Did you hit race car? I can't. I don't see him. Where's Chris? Right next to you, I think. Chris? Oh, over my shoulder right here. Nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Here's Chris. There that's you go. A, that's How did I do? Pretty, 
That is really good. That's not bad, bro. Them, I don't know if they're correct. Because also it was a marksman meetup, so I didn't know everyone there. <clears throat> That's pretty good, dude. Yeah. Um. So I'm excited. This picture is exciting to me because we're, we're doing conventions again. And maybe not the Paris one. We might not see a big crew at that. We're definitely not going to see a big crew at that. But... I'm excited that they're back on and I would yeah me too to man have... it's definitely the year of the convention again i'm very yeah. stoked and i think uh it's very possible we have like a really nice community pop off for uh twitchcon na in vegas in october hopefully we see a lot of homies there might have to might have to make it might have to make it i'll see what i could do i'd love to be there too i shared a room uh, with slum that whole trip good times dude bot bot has been i just want to cut away for a second and give bot a shout out if that's all right absolutely um Hearing when it. i was not like um when it was tough for me to get a hotel room or things like that because of my money situation bot has always uh looked out for me so i appreciate you bot i think he's done thank that you. for a lot of thank people you so much champion that's a great pe that's the, the best thing you can do in the world is help other people so thank you for that bot Shout out um, him for the last morning of the trip and him hooking me up. Last morning. <laughs> there you go. Wait, what? Well, you guys will have to talk about it later I, I then. Don't re I don't remember that morning. All right. Um, but I want to go. I want to do a complete contrast, contrast of this picture. Sure. A lot of people here. Big community. Fun. Gigantic. What's this? <laughs> Oh, man, I didn't even know we had an image of this. Holy shit. I don't think anyone in the chat knows either. Wow, dude. Because if you, if you look oh at, down at the God. bottom, I know you can't read it, but for those in chat, at the bottom right, I think it says nine viewers. I'd believe it. And there's six of us on screen, so... <laughs> <laughs> and night night bot's probably one of them. <laughs> we're we're getting low, boys. Uh, this is so. Believe it or not, th this is like um. We must have just been. We must have just been starting because I was already partnered at this point because there because there was no affiliate program, and so this was our three hundred and fifty sub goal. Uh, was to do Dungeons and Dragons live on stream. And uh, this is the first time we even came close to hitting it. Uh, we just barely hit it. And uh, we did, we had the, we had the great pleasure of, uh, of having a very experienced dungeon master, Mr. Captain Wingnut, who also did all of our original emotes. Um, incredibly talented dude, massive help to the channel. Probably wouldn't have made it along the way without a lot of the stuff that he did back way back when. But this in particular, uh, he showed up big. He led five of us who have never played Dungeons & Dragons before in our entire lives. Uh, helped us figure it out, get it set up. We did sessions offline in advance so that we could figure out how everything worked. Also that we could prep to make this uh, sub goal meaningful and fun for everybody. Um, which again... I'd like to say that that we still we still try and go all out for uh, whatever it is. Uh, so definitely been a running theme. But this was incredibly fun. In the top left, you have Captain Wingy. You have Leather Princess in the top middle. Top right, very handsome son of a bitch, Slum Dilly Donger. Bottom left, Don Juan De La Nuch. Bottom middle, rocking that chainmail like no one's ever rocked it before. Stone guitarist. Look at him go. And of course, myself in the bottom right couple of things to note in this we have the green screen set up yep. the channel is markstrom tv you have the old logo in the bottom left <laughs> yep and probably my favorite part is on the little banner in the top right it's dungeons and dragons and lions <laughs> and if you could be one or the other chat would you be a dragon or would you be a lion asking for a friend it's important it's very important it is it is a really important question yes yeah. you know go ahead uh, it's just uh this this was a really fun time um i think uh 
when we when people ask me if I've ever played Dungeons and Dragons, I remember this fondly. And then they ask if I would ever consider doing it live on stream again. And I say they probably don't recognize the amount of work and effort and coordination that comes with trying to piece together a production like this. So I have a lot of respect for the people who uh, do sessions weekly live on Twitch. It's it's very difficult and uh, hats off to them because that that is not easy. A lot of work, a lot of work, but it was fun and I'm glad we did it. So, well, you, you almost answered the question, but you didn't. Do you think you might ever do something like this again? This game, exactly. <clears throat> With these exact characters? No, no, no. Dungeons and Dragons. Um, I could see myself doing, uh, like, a standalone evening, for sure. Absolutely. Um, it's wonderful. Yeah, we, we, we still, I'm still very good friends with a lot of great DMs. I could see Batty piecing together a, like a one-off game for us. So we'll see. Time will tell. Well, I, I loved this picture because, I mean, this is, how long ago was this? This was years ago, but like how many years? Six and a half years ago. Six and a half years ago. Yeah. And we're talking about your community here and, and six and a half years ago, you're playing games with your community and i was just watching one of your vods the other day and you're still doing <laughs> you're still playing with your community you're still having a great time yeah um the picture is doesn't do uh, justice here but who are these three guys down here and what are you guys doing uh this is a nice little community uh five stack cs with the boys you got dark gooch down there at the bottom left the legend of dark Gonkulus. You got young Stinky Stonk coming in on the mid, and then of course the the young Tedward on the on the bottom right, a little cheesing for the camera, having a good time. Stinky I'm pretty stonk. sure he went out Thursday night. This was a FBF recently, which we've been doing since the dawn of time. Uh, but he went out Thursday night, drank all night, didn't really go to sleep, drank all day during Friday, and then went out Friday night. This was uh, his Cinco de Mayo. Jeez. So oh nice gosh. little Cinco to drink for Ted as well. He is vibing. You can see it right there in his eyes. See the twinkle? Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. For sure. Dude, his eyes are gone. <laughs> They're gone. Twinkle. They're not looking at anything. <laughs> it was a good time. It was definitely a good time. That's good, dude. And um, I, I I love being a part of this community. Just throwing it out there, man. I appreciate so, that. So let's, let's keep it going. I think it's time for this disgusting looking. Yeah, yeah this thing is very. Meat. Why is it so watery? It looks like. Yeah. It they call like it Szechuan gold. Syrup. It looks like soda syrup. Like, it's disgusting looking. Super spicy, extra tingly oil for setting your taste buds alight, is what it says. All right. Fly by Jing. Szechuan gold. Very nice. No, uh, no hot level. We're looking for a Scoville, potentially. Speaking a of Scoville. community members from six and a half years ago, hello, G Money. G Money! Let's go! Just in time to watch Markstrom die on stream. Not even hot. Not even hot yet. I'm straight up. <clears throat> All right. This is going to be a tough one because it's very fluidy. Can I get a milady in the chat, please, for G Money? Thank you. Get a milady in there. Yeah. Did you smell this yet? It's very fluidy, bro. It smells good. I bet it does. Do you think it's hot? I do. It's supposed to be the fifth one. Fifth, fifth level of hotness. I mean, I hear you. All right, are you dabbing up? I'm dabbing, bro. Ben. Oh, yeah, that's a nice juicer on there. I may regret that. Yeah, I'm that. leaking. I'm all leaking right. uh, all over the place, but screw it. All right. All right. Mine's fully lined. And that was our, this is our fifth wing. Yeah. Fifth wing, right. fifth question. Let's get it. All right. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Boom. Hmm. Oh. We took a little trip down memory lane, and I don't just want to leave right away. You know? Okay. I want to stay there for a second. You want to linger? Yeah. You a lingerer? So... You now have a, a lovely wife. Yeah. <clears throat> and you've been with her for quite some time. Yeah. But I want to show you a picture. Okay. 
And I want to take you down. I want you to take us down a trip to memory lane and maybe bring us back to how you guys met. <laughs> you know, what was that feeling like? And, and what the heck is this picture? That is something called an anything but clothes party. <laughs> okay. Uh, an ABC party, anything but clothes. Definitely a banger. Uh, Alexandra is wearing wrapping paper. And I am wearing a backpack. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The, the thought it. process was, what the fuck do I wear? Uh, if I, <laughs> if I... If it's anything but clothes. Because we got invited to this. I think we had like two hours. We had like two hours of prep. So we had to come up with something on the fly. And uh, I said, you know what? I don't use this for books anyway. Because going to class is for nerds. And uh, I'm going to cut two holes in this backpack and let it ride. And so that's what I did. Wait, where um, the holes go? I'm sorry? What holes? For what? In the bottom of the backpack so I could step through oh, it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. Like George of the Jungle. Yeah, yeah. Got the loincloth on. The Jansport loincloth. Yeah. That's actually pretty solid. I thought it was a pretty solid idea. I came up with it right there on the spot. Yeah. Not and bad. You padded, the, you padded the front pocket a little bit? I, I'll be honest. It was really nice to have the front pocket because I still had a pocket. I could put my like phone and wallet in there. It, it came yeah. in clutch, I'll be honest. And your socks? All right. <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> so let's, let's, talk about, let's talk about you and Alex for a sec. Yeah. How did you guys meet? And what was that like? Uh, you guys high school sweethearts? Did you meet in college? We met in second grade. Oh my gosh. We met in second grade. Uh, we never had the same teacher until fourth grade. We had the same teacher, same homeroom. And then uh, we went to different middle schools. But my best friend at the time went to her middle school. And then we went to the same high school and then the same university. But we didn't have a single class together in high school. So we really like weren't close. We were friendly. We knew each other. We said hi in the halls. And then uh, freshman year of college, uh, towards like the end of the first semester, uh, we had a mutual friend and we started to talk through her. And uh, then we started dating and we're together second semester rest was history there you go oh my gosh did you used to take her on the back of your scooter uh i don't think she really liked i don't think she liked uh riding on the scooter she did but i don't think she was a huge fan of it okay okay well that's you, true you our first our first time like our first evening like talking we were partners in a beer pong tournament on halloween oh okay which we used water for because we were underage of course Okay. Do you think you'll ever get back to this shape right here? Are you saying I don't look like that right now? I'm going to take a wild guess and say, yeah, you don't look like that right now. I have like four times as much muscle on me, and you give me six weeks, and I'm, I'm that same leanness. Okay. I'll, I'll see you, you in Paris. Weeks. I'll give you six weeks. I'll see you in now. Paris. Oh, jeez. All right. Are you feeling anything yet? I mean, yeah, I'm dying, bro. I'm, Sweating. My mouth is a little. I, now there's a coating of, like, hotness. Okay. So that was five. That was five. I think... I think these might be a little more rough. Yeah, I think so, too. All right. Oh, Scotch one Bonnet. Good. One of my favorite kinds of pepper, bro. Love this one. Oh yeah, chili, lengua, de fuego. That means fire. Yeah, I'm nice with it. Oh yeah. Heat level, five out of six. You're moving. Think that's true. You think that's true? I mean, that's definitely up there. Oh. You got a no, little smell to it? It smells, it's definitely got smell to it. And I'm just gonna go ham, dude. No more, no more dropping, no more. I'm coating this thing, bro. Oh, I got it. I got it. You got a layer of juice. Look, yeah. this is separated. All right, hold on. Yeah. I got a big shake. 
Big shake. Shake this it was all definitely up. Ugh, hella separated. It looks like death at the top, actually. That's actually not good at all. Hey, yeah, just let that just pour that death out right onto your wing. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta oh get the demons God, it out, does. bro. It's so bad up top. Yeah, why why is there a layer of death on the top, bro? Hello? I don't know, but that's gonna be nice, huh? Oh fuck, dude. Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's do it. Just death on top. Yeah, I'm juicing it. Yeah, I'm gonna go ham on this one. Um right. Do what you gotta do, bro. Okay. Yup, that's a that's a glob. Yeah, I'm gl I'm globbed. Uh, it, it, it never, it never focused. I want to see that glob. Can, it's too, it's, all right, hold on. I believe in you. That's globby. That all right. Yeah, there's mine. See that guy? Oh, yeah, that's a tiny one. Good for you. What? All right, sixth wing. My whole wing? wing, bro. This is sixth wing? This is six. Here we go. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Mm. The the flavor of Scotch bonnets is so fucking good, man. Always been a fan. Any heat coming off of that bad boy? Uh, this is like probably the first one where I'm like, all right, I see you. There's a little heat coming off, but it's not hot. Nah. All right, so six hot sauce down. How you feeling? Feel good, bro. Feel good. So we have a recurring segment on our show called Gleam That Meme, where we All do right. a deep dive into our guest Discord and pull out some interesting memes that need more context. Sure. You ready to go? Gleam that meme. Gleam that meme. First of all, where'd you get that picture? Uh, I have never seen that in my life. Where'd that come from? <laughs> what a handsome young man, dude. Well, there's this popular TV show. It's a American iteration of a popular UK show called The Office. I, and yeah, in the I show, um, a meme has been born where Pam, the secretary of the office, needs to determine... The difference between two pictures and the meme is that she says it's the same picture and as yeah. you see in the top left <clears throat> is an image of a young <sighs> slum lord x where did you get that picture it was shared with us by someone by the name of young slum lord x was it uh, really we were discussing i believe at the time um similarities and childhood photos between yourself and your father or was it the shirt I was wearing? It could have been that too. It had I'm just trying. I'm just thinking of different different times when we, uh, you, you all right over there? Yeah. Okay, I'm just checking. Um, it's not even hot. Right. Um. But yeah, I think there was a couple of times we shared some younger photos of yourself, and uh, someone decided that that haircut be snaping hella hard. You know what though? What's that? I'm okay with this picture. Or this meme because Snape is the goat, dude. Snape's the goat. Misunderstood. Yeah. Made the ultimate sacrifice. Ultimate. Made the ultimate sacrifice. Scotch Bonnet got your tongue. And he's he Snape's the goat, dude. All right. And I'm very happy I watched have Harry Potter. He's my favorite character. Cool. I'm glad to hear it. So, all right, let's move on from this one. And Alan, Alan Rickman is what was one of the greatest actors of all time. Oh, that's he. This was the guy, and he passed. Yeah. Rest in peace, great right. actor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this feels right. This certainly feels right. This is definitely a uh, a banger meme. You know, Bye. sometimes Sean's trash talk somehow, some way surpasses his ability in game i think that's can you give right us on some, the money can you give us some moments 
Possibly. Um, Any memorable moments that stuck out to you? Oh, <clears throat> man. So many. I would say one of my favorite ones was me, Sean, and Poods. Uh, where Sean decided that uh, he was going to climb the ladder on this guy. Um, and that ended up becoming a wonderful channel point. Or not channel point, but uh, custom sub sound. What's, it, what's uh, the sub sound? It's me making fun of Sean after the fact, after he ruined it for our entire team. I'm climbing the ladder. Uh, I believe is somewhere along the lines of the... <laughs> Isn't there a isn't there, isn't there a clip in your oh, yeah. intro of Trade me? <laughs> he made a terrible decision and uh he was yelling at us because we didn't trade him out. Unlucky. Sorry, what was the question? Oh, so he made a shit decision and wanted you to say yourself yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, he's one of those guys. Yeah. Isn't there a clip in your intro that's um <laughs> that's Sean throwing as well? Nah, that mm, he may be in the right on that one. Really? Yeah, that, that was me and oh, Botmod. No, that was you. me and Botmod specifically trolling Bob Sean Mott. by making a poor decision. Yeah, yeah. Now I remember. You it was for content, though. Out. Let the record show. <laughs> and it was good enough content to be immortalized in the channel intro. So I would say we made the right decision. You know. Okay. Okay. What do we got here? Just grab the wall. I am. Hit E. That's the text is too small. I can't read it. Hit E. Down What's that below? To? That is you are going when I'm not ready. Yeah. We go on three, or did Clemson not teach you how to count that high? <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. So Chuck went to a notoriously dog shit South Carolinian college, uh, where they are not known for their academics. Um, and it shows day in and day out with what he chooses to type in the chat and how he chooses to play games. Um, this, unfortunately, another charity incentive because, you know, I'm here for the kids. Uh, we played a game where we were reliant on one another to be successful, which I knew would be a massive punishment to myself, which I knew would raise a lot of money uh, because that's what chat is into, seeing me be punished. And they knew that me having to play this game with Chuck would be rough. And this, this was uh, very representative of our time and game together. It did not go well. Playing, we did not get very far. Years? It was some of the most, it was probably the most frustrating few hours of my entire life. Do you see yourself playing more games with Chuck? <sighs> Voluntarily. Voluntarily, no. Uh, for a good cause, I'd consider it. Okay. But but the, the, it will require some serious nut up or shut up money from chat. Understood. Understood. There you this go. next one, you might have a love hate relationship with, but. Okay. <laughs> what Referring to uh, the once popular uh, title, uh, The Cycle Frontier, uh, where if, uh, if you die. Uh, you get you get turned into foam, and uh, I believe this is a, a meme uh, from a famous uh, corn actor. <clears throat> corn actor. Yeah, I'm not familiar with that movie. Oh, okay. Well, can't see them all. You know, there's only so much time in the day. Uh, what's the face you're making? How did they clip this? I was probably reading something that Chuck wrote in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> that fit, that checks out for sure. Like absolutely confused and disgusted simultaneously. Gonna foam. Well, speaking of Chuck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this checks out for sure. This checks out for sure. So what's the point of this meme again? Uh, Chuck both looks ridiculous and is, uh, we'll say less than intelligent. <clears throat> there you go. Who's, who's on the left? Uh, uh, that is Ben Stiller as, uh, what's the character's name? Uh, Simple, Simple Jack, Jack or something? Yeah. Simple Jack. Yeah, there you go. And indistinguishable from the picture on the right? Yeah, 100%. And that's Chuck Town Tiger, correct? That is correct, yes. Can't confirm. And they are the same picture. That they are. 
So what's going on here? Jesus Christ. <laughs> we're going to have to click past this one. We're just going to have to just... We're going to have... All right. That was a Discord only, not an on-stream meme. You oh, know okay. what I mean? Sorry about right. that. Yeah. I didn't know. All right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. How about this right here? Oh, yeah. This is the body pillow. And that's the official body pillow of MSTV. Can I get a milady in, my ch in the chat one time, please? Looks a little shopped up top. A little too familiar up top there, but uh, the sentiment remains. I got real good sleep during uh, during that uh, charity -a -thon. That's for sure. Real good sleep. Comfy pillow. Now, is that is that picture... What did you do to have to take that picture? Did you have to bulk up? <laughs> okay, dude. Cause that that was an interesting time in your life. I guess so. I, yeah, I guess so. Uh, and then there's there's two more that I think are really interesting, but I I must not have been around for these, so you okay. have to give me some context. Sure. Oh well, this is just the day to day of me asking chat to vote one one two two and then doing the opposite. Uh, you have to let them think that it's a democracy, but it's not, because they don't know best. They think they do, but they don't. I take the well, blizzard the stance side, on that one. Listen to the votes of chat poll. Yep. And on the right side, this is a dictatorship. Yeah. And as you can see, it's Markstrom down below making a aggressive. Very drift. aggressive. Hard right. Yeah. <laughs> Onto the right lane. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. That's that's interesting. I, I definitely understand where this one comes from. Mm -hmm. How about this one? It, on the left side, admit you died in hardcore WoW or draw 25. Now, this meme doesn't make any sense to me. Slum, as you know, and as the good people of Azeroth know, I have never died in Hardcore WoW, and I literally never will. I am a god gamer, not a lion tamer. That's my official uh, That's my official stance on the matter. So when I saw this meme come through the pipes, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, Slum. They can't all be bangers. So you never died in Hardcore WoW. That's correct. So why does this meme exist? I don't know, dude. Completely un unsubstantiated. Huh. I think we'll have to do a little deep dive into that one. Are you All sure right. you never died? Not one time. Chad, I was griefed. I was griefed. Let the record show. I was griefed. What does what does that mean? That means that someone dragged a mob from a high level area into my area and killed me with it. It is a forgiven death in hardcore WoW and does not count. Who said? Who made that rule? The people who make hardcore. Okay. So other than the grief, the grief death chat, he's never died in Hardcore WoW because I haven't been able to watch him. Not one time, one once. I've had teammates. We did a drinking stream where I had a teammate die. Sean didn't heal our teammate. And uh, that means that we all have to delete our characters, but they didn't die. Okay. It looks like there's some two twos coming in. Yeah, well, it's not a fucking dictatorship. It's a democracy. All right. Wait, what? Don't worry about it, bro. <laughs> oh man all right <clears throat> are you ready for the next wing my friend i'm ready you got any feeling up there at all feeling Anything? good feeling fresh yeah. yeah me too all right so i believe this is the seventh wing five six seven cosmic disco cosmic Disco. Hot it's a pretty sauce. cool name. I will say that one wasn't perforated for me. It was the only top that had no perforation. You perforated over there or what? Nah, something weird happened. Maybe they just don't do it. All over. The bomb is on the rotation. Can confirm. Parma sauce. Funkin' hot. Give it a shake. Oh, is that what it says? Funkin' hot. Oh, yeah, it's nice. Funkin' Hot Karma Sauce Cosmic Disco. Hot sauce. The nuclear fusion of our soy chili masterpiece, Cosmic Dumpling, and our searingly funked up Scorpion Disco results in an interplanetary supernova of scalding heat and umami flavor forward. Wings, dim sum, ramen, kebabs, a universe of possibilities in a bottle. Wow. Yeah, it smells good. Oh, it does smell good. It smells strong, dude. Smells hot. I'll give you that. Okay. Here we go. Lather it up. Don't be a bitch. 
Bro. What happened? Never been oh a bitch God, in my lathered, life, dude. bro. It is lathered. I hear you. I'm dripping. Good. Gotta stay you dripping ready? in these streets, man. You stay dripping, dude. Yes, sir. You got lathered up and ready to go? I'm good. All right, here we go. Cheers. Boop. Cheers. Mm. Okay. That was the seventh hot sauce. I stay lathery. You feel anything on there? Um. Oh yeah, that one gets you in the back of the throat a little. Seventh hot sauce. Still not hot. Let's move on. Okay. I'm moving. So. Not as much as deadly got you in the back of the throat. Okay, dude. All right. Next question. So for the second or the seventh. This is. You've been going for a while. You've been streaming, crushing it, innovating, doing what you want to do. Yeah. Doing what the community wants to do. Sometimes. Who are your early inspirations and role models? Ooh. Let's let's talk let's start early. Yeah. And then I want to talk about who are your inspirations that have come up recently who's been, who've been creating content and innovating recently sure so let's great start question. from the back yeah i mean so many people i would say like i really started watching streams earlier probably the most i was watching streams long before uh twitch existed i watched justin tv i watched some of the other ones i forget their names now um because i watched a lot of wow content back in the day so there's a lot of like soda pop in uh towely duck sauce people who really made the content uh about them and memeing and being the focus of their own content uh and then i would say anthony kungpen is 100 percent the reason i started streaming daisy uh his pvp skill uh was really incredible back in the day like he was just miles ahead of everyone in that game and it was really fun to watch and so that was definitely inspiration for like what i tried to emulate on stream uh to begin with do you have any um, memorable moments of kung fen oh in countless DC? yeah i would say like mostly bears you know kills him holding this like the corner building and just shooting people through like the tiny cracks uh him being up on top of like any tall building uh in electro cherno a lot of coastal action, which is definitely why I became a coastal warrior until I met Dead Deadly, who started to bring me inland and explore a whole other aspect of the game. Um, so, yeah. And, and also, like, uh, Tony was definitely, like, one of the first people to show me that you can use your platform for more than just gaming. You can use it for good and to make a positive difference. Um, he's done countless uh charity broadcasts uh especially around christmas time his 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 holiday streams for raising money to buy toys for the kids is like super legendary super fun watching his haul every single year from toys r us or wherever um really cool do you think um seeing him do that sort of thing made you want to do charity or have you always kind of been into charity um I, it, it at the very least helped me recognize that uh, a ride or die community can make a big difference regardless of size. And then let's say moving on from there, I definitely, I learned how to control and dictate 
uh, the way a community grows so that you can lead it in a positive direction, like a, like a bonsai tree, you know what I mean? Like you gotta snip off the pieces you don't want, let it grow into the pieces that you do. I learned I that from C's, very much so, CD on the third. Around. Yeah. Guide the branch a little You gotta bit. guide it, bro, you gotta guide it. And um, that has paid dividends because I'll be damned if I don't enjoy still eight years later waking up and, and you know spending time with the people that are here every day. There's not a better group of of people uh, on the internet, nonetheless, on a streaming platform and in a chat. Um, so that that was huge. I definitely owe a lot to C's for that one. Um, he he taught me that you gotta you gotta cut out the people that you don't want there. So that was big. Um, Moving forward, I be, I get to a point where I don't watch a whole lot of other broadcasts um, because I'm just so busy creating content. I don't get to tune into a whole lot of people. Um, the the streams that I watch now and I'm most inspired by are just natural born entertainers, um, and it has very little to do with the game itself and that just continues to reinforce the idea that stream should continue to be about um me and what i bring to the table with regards to um entertainment value and and interactivity and and doing and it just not being about the game because the game is just the background it doesn't it doesn't matter all that much and i think that that has led to longevity in the space um which again i'm just super thankful for you know, learning, learning that early, but then continuing to reinforce it, watching like those are the streams that I enjoy the most are the ones where the game just doesn't really matter. So I would say lately, if you wanted like a modern example, it would be, have to be Peo from the hardcore WoW community. Peo. <clears throat> okay. Okay. I love, I re I do like your, I like all of those examples. I think watching from starting from the ground floor with you and seeing your growth i would say it's, it is very it's it's noticeable that those guys had an impact on you and uh, i'm excited to see who is going to have impact on you um in the future but i'm also excited to see about the, the young bucks that you're gonna bring into the fold and how you're gonna influence them and become one of those guys for them because i think that's inevitable i think you are paving the way for a new generation of streamers and and i think they're going to i think you're going to play a big role in those people as well and uh I, I enjoy watching the show and uh why you why are you silent you know nothing to say about that that thing right there i'm just, just i'm just that. i'm just smiling and watching you and reading chat and just taking it all in i'm having a good time me too so i think that was a wonderful time i think i would like to just listen to you talk for another hour before the next wing yeah because that was a great answer. I think you could go on for a long time. I probably if could. You want to? If you want to, we can. We don't have to. We could. We could stay on the the seventh wing for a while. I'm kind of hungry, bro. Oh yeah. All right. I think it's that time then. All right. We'll go to the seventh sauce. Uh. So we got the seventh sauce, ladies we and got? gentlemen. Or we got the eighth sauce, I apologize. It's number eight. You didn't go to Clemson, did you? <laughs> I did not go to Clemson. I went to community college, though. So. Oh, leaps and bounds above. You're good. <laughs> You're good. So we have Da Bomb. Evolution. Hot sauce. Warning. This sauce is extremely hot. Okay. Well, okay. Yeah, poods. It says, "Let's let's make a pact here." Yeah, yeah. yeah. What are you thinking? Consume one drop at a time with extreme caution. I will tell you right now, 
as an avid consumer of Hot Ones content, that yeah. this is the hottest sauce out of 10, out of all of them. Do we switch it then? No. The point okay. is oh, to bang they, it they out do that now. on purpose? They do the that order purpose. is very okay. purposeful. Okay. But this right. is the hottest sauce. All right. It also tastes the worst. So I'm going to edit a little flat real quick so I can go ham on. Oh, Jesus. You all right? All right. I think I'll be all right. Okay. So let's make a pack with this sauce. Yeah. Let's shake it up. Yeah, yeah. I'm shook. And let's, there's no perforate. Oh, yeah, there is. Oh, yeah. Let me open it real quick. This one's perforated and it will also perforate you. I doubt it, dude. These aren't. All right, they're not hot. All right. If I could just open it. So, what do you say? Yeah. I think this consume one drop at a time is strictly marketing. Okay. So, what do you say we make a pack and lather it up? Listen, you don't got to tell me twice. So, right now... Oh, this is an easy one to get a big clump on. Okay. Because it's chunky. Oh, shit. All right. What do you got going on over there? No, mine's not even pouring yet. Please hold. <laughs> She's okay? extra chunky. I'm trying. How's that look for the, the viewers at home? Is that a good... Or do you, should I scrape a little off? What do we think? Chat, this is your time to shine. If you have any ounce of love or in your heart, pity, maybe time for you guys to step in. <laughs> more, they say. <laughs> I don't think I saw one more, bro. Don't, don't, are you, you're, I think you're lying. Well, more, we need more. Great for us. Pour on more. <laughs> Wait, I'm just reading. No, you don't have to do a goddamn thing. I just sandcastled that, dude. How many times do I have to tell you not to listen to chat, bro? Is that good? All right. No, that's a gigantic chunk, dude. I wouldn't do that. I would, bro. I listen. Mom you know I love no you. Bitch. I would not do that. I ain't raised no bitch. I'm putting more on, slowly Let's but surely. I'm getting more on there. Can you show us yours? Yeah, I'm getting there. I don't think this one's going to be hot. Boom. How we looking? That looks soft to me, but you you poured one drop and you scraped it with the mouth of the bottle. Bro, I am telling you that this is all over the entire wing. Okay. We ready? Okay. All right. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. What was that? really good so that tastes like ass chat so we are on um <clears throat> we are on <sighs> I think that was the eighth wing yeah that was the eighth one Um, so we have something prepared, I think. You got something prepared? Yeah. Oh, that was a bone. I had a bone there, too. Bone. I'm not going to lie. Bone. Um, this, that one was pretty good. Not, Don't touch not your hot. eyes. Not hot, though. We're 
These really are a letdown, to be honest. I figured they'd be hot. Um, so we have, what wing were we on? That was eight. That was the eighth wing. So we do. Okay, so we were talking about, I think you mentioned doing stuff for your stream and you showed the Lord Farquaad, Waldstrom, those things. But one that some people don't might might not remember because the person who helped me build this out, actually shout out to Whiskey and, and Aberman and Ted. They, Whiskey and Aberman didn't know about this. Yeah. So I want to bring it back and I want you to explain it to us. So you got some almond milk over there? What's that? Okay. What is that? Well, there's a group of people uh, in like the middle of the United States East Coast called the Amish. And uh, you sometimes you got to do a little cosplay. Yeah. You got to get in there and when you... When you comb okay, it out dude. and you try and make it as as large as possible for an emote, it gets real um real thin, as it turns Disgusting. out. Absolutely gross. Oh, horrifying. I would like the record to show that this was circa. Oh man. Are you okay? I'm doing great. It doesn't look like it. Oh, You're struggling, dude. That's true. Do we have to stop? I'll let you know. I, I'm on the verge, but I'll let you know. All right. All right. Just let me know. We'll yeah. stop. Dude, I have no shame in, in stopping for you. I I appreciate that. That's very kind. What's going on with the uh, with the tattoo on the chest there? I That's... I don't know. What is it? You got a tattoo? It says mom. When did you get that? Must have been one of those charity incentives. What was the beard for? Because I remember what it was for. Oh, I know so, what it was for. So what was uh, it for? the beard was, uh, you know, as a lifelong hockey fan and uh, with the name Markstrom, named after a hockey player, the hockey uh, traditions run deep in the channel, as does the playoff beard. And as someone who was applying regularly and getting denied for partnership i said one of one of these denial emails back to me i said damn it we uh we are not going to shave until we are partnered and so uh i took that i took that seriously i didn't i didn't trim anything uh i pro in retrospect that was probably a very poor choice but i knew it was against the rules of the playoff beard you just had to let it do what it was going to do over time um uh, it was gross it was itchy i wasn't a fan of it I know Alexander wasn't a fan of it. A lot of chat. A chat was a fan, believe it or not. It grew on chat just like it grew on me. Um, but uh, my way to announce... Uh, my way to announce the uh, the partnership was to show up live on stream, completely clean shaven. Uh, and so that was a pretty hype way to say, hey, we did it. So that was pretty cool. We did it. How long did that take? How long was that beard? Like multiplies. Three or four. Three or four? Yeah. Okay. Did you enjoy growing that beard? No. No. I was very clear about that in my response just now. <laughs> okay. So. I think we're. That was it. I think that was the 10th wing. What? No, that was eight. We got nine and 10 left. Okay. Okay. So. That's a good question though. Let's move on. Yeah. You all right over there. Do you need to stop? I appreciate you asking. I think I'm good to continue. Okay. 
The ninth hot sauce. Smoking heads. Unique galoot. What do you think Ed's smoking, bro? He's smoking that doobie. That schmeat? I think it might be the schmeat. He's, nah, it's, he's got a five panel hat on. He's smoking a doobie. Okay. About smoking Ed. All right. Smoking Ed Curry is world famous. Is world famous for his pepper productions mm. products. <sighs> he is known as a mad scientist for spicing up the foods mm. he feeds his friends and friends and family. Whatever he's planting, pruning, or harvesting, smoking heads uh, is smoking, I think. Mm. Ed is on the never-ending pursuit of perfecting his peppers with one goal in mind, to heat up your taste buds. Wow. Use his sauces to add explosion of flavor to any recipe. Yeah. Okay, so it's flavor. It's not heat. They didn't say this one was bad on heat. That is an explosion of flavor. Yeah, not heat. He's having... I don't know what your reading that. comprehension skills are these days, but it says Smoke Ned is on the never-ending pursuit of perfecting his peppers with one goal in mind. To yeah. heat up your taste buds. With flavor. At this point, honestly, you can get an honorary degree from Clemson for sure. Like, they would send you one. Like, they do that. So. All right. Shake it up. I'm shook. You all right, though? You good to go still? Barely hanging on. We, we can stop for you. I'm good. I'm not ashamed to stop for you. I appreciate that. All right. Just let me know. Okay, I will. Thanks for checking. So, let's keep up the the theme. Yeah, juice them up. Juice them up. Lather. You think this is a paste as well? Or yes, it looks very pasty. It runs a little bit. Does it? A Jesus. Bit. You guys see that? I'm trying. You're crying? We can stop, dude. I'm, I'm trying. Thanks for checking, though. You're welcome. Are you on the right one? Are you sure? You're on the right one? No, I'm on the right one, bro. Mine is not watery, though. <clears throat> Come on, now. Why is it? Hello? Oh, there we go. All right, there we go. All right. Booyah, Kasha. Good. Good to go? Oh, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh, that tastes really good, though. Wow. That kind of slaps. That's flavorful. So the ninth wing. Hold on one sec. And that is why you pause alerts because there are some people here who couldn't even get into Clemson. You know what I mean? All right. All right, go ahead, Slum. So the ninth wing. Yeah. <clears throat> You've been playing a bunch of games. Yeah. You've been trying out a few here and there. You've been really just doing what feels right. Yeah. You're done with the locking in on a game. Well. Even if it's shit. Well, that's... Yeah. Right? This was less of a decision and more of a forced hand by the industry, but yeah, I hear you. Why is that? <laughs> you really do want to stall. 
<laughs> That's a bit of a diatribe for another time, probably. But I, uh, yes, I have enjoyed. I have enjoyed just really checking out the things that I'm enjoying and that we can enjoy together as a community, um, rather than 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 forcing um, something that doesn't provide um, an enjoyable day to day. Yes, for sure. So. I want to the reason I said why because I wanted to funnel it into what makes a good streaming game then, oh, that's a great question then if you were to develop one with you know a team of people and a guy who knows how to use Unreal Engine and crush it what would that game be Okay, uh, so first and foremost, what I think makes a great streaming game is making sure that chat, it's very clear that someone who's never played the game can tell when something good happens and when something bad happens. And if they can't participate in the victories and the losses and the ups and downs and the overall story and narrative of what's happening, then there's no point in them paying attention to the gameplay. Um, and I think that that's overlooked by a lot of people. Um, that is, of course, in conjunction with the aesthetic of the game. And I think most people, I think most content pieces game wise are driven by like the narrative. And when I, I would use the word story, but I choose narrative here because it's not, I'm not talking about like the game needs lore and a story. But the story of like what you are going through as a broadcaster while playing it, right? And if you can't, if you can't piece together a compelling narrative during a game's gameplay, then there, then you don't have a good content piece. I think that's probably like the driving factor for me, regardless of what kind of game that is. <clears throat> okay, I think I think you're on to something there. Um, so, second part of the question is what would that game look like? I don't even think like the work. genre necessarily, I don't think there needs to even be like a specific vision to it, but I think, you know, um, if I had to pick something, it would be like, uh, something with unique player interaction, high risk, high reward, because those are things that create really unique, interesting, replayable, compelling narratives. I think you're onto something there. I think so too. So that leads us into the next question. However, okay. I think we got one more wing. Next question needs another wing. You know what's crazy? What's that, bro? They gave me two extra wings. Nice. That's nice of them. I think that's probably because there there was a sorry for saying, uh, "Hey, we gave you nuggets uh, first time around." I think you're right about that. Is it hot in here? Um, well, I'm not actually in the room with you. I don't know if that's where I'm. You're there, and I'm. I think it's just my sunburn. Yeah. Probably also like the hot sauce filled snot rag that you're rubbing your eyes and forehead with. That's probably part of it. I, if I had to that's, put, if I had to put a finger on it. That's not hot though. Oh, okay, the okay. These aren't the hot part. I think it's just. I've been burnt. I've got burnt the other day. Oh, okay. So, you know. So. You just grabbed my ass? Excuse me? Physically impossible. From where I am at. To grab your ass. All right, bro. I'm giga dabbed up on the last dab. Giga dabbed? Yeah. You're already there. Heat level. <clears throat> 10 out of 10. I'm fat. The last dab, Apollo, is the world's only hot sauce made with the Apollo pepper. Yeah. The new hottest pepper from Guinness World Record. Holding chili breeding, holding chili breeder, smoking Ed Curry. Oh, we had an, we had an Ed, right? Smoking Ed. The guy, the five panel hat. Five panel hat. The Apollo pepper channels the sun's energy to bring new levels of flavor and heat to the world's world of super hot if, 
Some you, you're gonna have shit. to you have to speed this up before I last dab all over myself. Do it again. Give me a more last dab. Give me another dab. I got you. Gotta let me break a bone out. Yeah, break a bone out. Do what you gotta do. I don't know, really know what you're doing with your bone out over there, but. Oh shit. Oh. oh all right. Mine's pretty much where I'm at too. Let me see that. Yeah, that's yep. All right. Cheers. Cheers. I must oh. say, for a hot, hot sauce, that shit is delicious. The flavor to it is really good. You like that one? I really do. Yeah. When it's you know not when it's not being given to me so as a surprise in my tuna, I really like it. <laughs> that what happened before? Sometimes Alexander doesn't, you know, hot sauce in the tuna is hot sauce in the tuna. So I think before we do the last one. I that have was one the last one. <clears throat> I have one more wing to go though. What do you got there? This this is the flavorful one, right? The explosion flavor. Excuse me? So, as we're on our way out, what we're going to do is just get the most out of this free wing they gave us. Ex what? What what sauce you just put on over there? I can't see it. It's not focused. Okay, hold on. How about that? Can you see it? Is that the bomb? Oh, I'm sorry. Here's the label. <clears throat> Why are you putting the bomb on another saw on another wing? This is the most flavorful one, right? Nope, it's the no. least flavorful. Nope, it's the one that hurts the most. Why would you? And then you uh. Oh, there we go. The mushroom. Yeah. Yeah, man. That is a wrap on the wings of death. To close things out, I want to journey into the future. Okay. What does it look like for Markstrom? Are there any big things planned in your career and for the community? Also, what does it look like for Taylor, Alex, for Taylor and Alex in this camera, this camera, and this camera? Let the people know what you got going on. Well, first, I'd like to thank you for having me on to such a uh, long running and historied uh, event. Highly celebrated upon, among myself and the people around me, uh, Mr. Hot Ones. Uh, bot ones, we really appreciate it. Thank you, Slum Evans. Uh, this has been a blast. Uh, appreciate the insightful questions. I hope I've answered them uh, thoroughly. I think the future holds um, maintaining a lot of the principles that that we got here with in the first place. Um, Rocking with the ones that that came up with you has been a big theme throughout our uh, our community. Um, being focused on creating meaningful, engaging content with uh, to make sure that everyone enjoys themselves on the day to day, and is able to ultimately uh, do what they come on Twitch to do, and that's to take their minds off of the bullshit that we all have to deal with in life. And if I can provide that and make a living at the same time, God damn it, I'll be here, Slum. How you doing over there? Not even hot. Not even hot. That's what's up. Markstrom, I want to thank you for coming on to this show. It's my pleasure. Another... I'd also like to share the fact while you doing what you're doing uh 
I'm excited, very excited uh, to spend some IRL time with the community this year. We are back to traveling. We haven't done conventions in many, many years, uh, thanks to COVID. And and I'm I'm really excited to be back and spend some time with those people in person because that has historically been some of my favorite parts of doing this for a living. And so if you have any capability to do so, if you live in the area of Paris uh, for TwitchCon EU in July, or the vicinity of Las Vegas, uh, Nevada for uh, TwitchCon NA in October, I would love to see you there. I'd love to shake your hand, share a meal with you, have a drink. And um, as those have definitely been my, my favorite moments uh, throughout the streaming career. Um, so I, I hope to see a lot of homies there and it'll be nice to be back on the uh, on the con vibe and uh, spend some time together in person. It would be very cool. So I, and, and not only do you have the opportunity to hang out with me, but uh, Alexandra, likely Slum, our friend Teddy, as well as many other of the core contributing members of this community. So. So, that is a wrap. I look forward to seeing you on next year's episode. Oh uh, yeah, we gotta we gotta bump up the hot sauce because this year, let them know, dude. Shit's fucking trash. <laughs> Not even hot. So, let's do this. And here's another thing. If you don't mind me self-plugging a little, Mark. I mind? would love for you to. You, can you tell the people, look into the camera, this camera, that camera, that camera. Let the good people know what you got going on in your life. So, <clears throat> I'm working on two things. What are you working on? I'm working on my production company, which we have been stepping our game up in our ability to produce high-quality content. And not even high quality content, but just content that is catered to the client as well. And we're really, we're really honing in on working with the client and giving them exactly what they need. So I'm very excited on how that's been going. Client relations is like really one of my favorite things. Next is we're also training people to create their own content because unfortunately, Sometimes we have to turn away people because we can't fit it in our business model in the production company. But but everyone is capable of creating their own media. And not only capable, everyone is going to have to create their own media, whether you have a, sw a small business, whether you want to create something like like Nooch is having a kid soon. He wants to create some home videos. Pogs in the chat for Nooch. <clears throat> anything. Anything you want to create. You need to learn how to do it. And it's very simple. Very simple. And then when you get the budget, if you got, if you want to get to the budget and spend some money on media production, then you come to us and we make some media. But you are more than capable of doing it. So what I'd like you to do, if you don't mind... I'm going to bring it up one more time. I'm going to link Markstrom the link just so we can put it in chat. Actually, I'll put it in chat for you guys. My man. If you don't mind going to this URL right here. Boom. Clicking that, scrolling down, and signing up for our email list. Super quick form it would mean a lot to me i would appreciate it and Thank by god i much. think you've earned it look at him over there chat can i get some claps in the chat for some diddly donger managing the, the wings of death I think and really taking it on the chin like a champ not even sweating not a not a damn not a damn drop dude not I even hollow it's the sunburn really it's like i got burnt a couple yeah. days ago hey sometimes you get burned bro so, guys, for real, if you don't mind signing up to that, I appreciate it. But other than that, Markstrom, thank you for being a part of this. Thank you for doing these types of things with the community. And let's keep it up, man. Let's keep innovating. Let's keep doing some fun stuff. I can't wait to see what the next three years brings for this community. Oh, yeah, bro. Thank I appreciate you. Very much. you.
Thank you, man. You have a wonderful you. rest of your uh, your day. Thank you. You as well. If Kick you're me if out you're driving, just maybe Uber later. All right. All right. <laughs> Kick me out of here. I Love don't know you. how to Bye -bye. get out. Bye bye. Bye.